If you get one of these questions right, you might have enough knowledge to get a grade C on photosynthesis questions for A-level biology. But if you can get all five correct, that might be enough knowledge to get an A star. Let's see how you do. Question one, where in the chloroplast do the light dependent reactions take place? And the answer is the thylakoid membranes, or you can say granum, grana to get the mark as well. Question two, what happens to chlorophyll when it absorbs that light energy? AQA have some really picky wording with this one. The answer is it becomes photoionized, meaning that the electrons in the chlorophyll have become excited, raised an energy level, and then they're released and lost from the chlorophyll. Question three is following on from that photoionization of chlorophyll, what process is replacing those lost electrons from the chlorophyll? So that's question three. There's electrons that get lost from the chlorophyll. What is it that is replacing those lost electrons? And the answer is, it's the photolysis of water. Water is split into protons, electrons, and oxygen. And those electrons are used to replace the electrons lost from the chlorophyll in photoionization. Question four, we're moving on to the light independent reactions or the Calvin cycle. Which enzyme catalyzes the fixing of carbon dioxide with RUBP to make two molecules of GP? So name that enzyme. And it is Rebisco. And finally, question five, ATP and reduced NADP are both made in the light dependent reactions, but are they both used in the light independent reactions? What are they used for? And the answer is the reduced NADP is used to reduce the two molecules of GP into two molecules of triosphosphate. ATP is hydrolyzed to release the energy for that reduction, and it also provides the energy for regenerating the RUBP from the TP molecules. How did you do? Let me know if you've got any other topic requests in the comments.